He's holding the camera. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, we're pigeon hunting. Y'all have recommended it. Y'all have wanted it. Me and the bearded man. It's just a two-man hunt today. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a really good feed. Thank you to Jordan for getting permission on it. We're almost fully set up. We've had two groups come while we're sitting up and they want it. Let me tell you what. I'm not going to keep blabbing or preaching or, or doing anything. We're just going to get into shooting here. Woo! Well, we are finally set up here. <laughs> ah! Oh, big group out front. Big group out front. Get ready. Here they come. You ready? Yep. Here they come, boy. First group of the day. I'm going to have to show you guys the hide here in a minute. Come on, get in here. We're literally sitting on buckets underneath this tree. Here we go. These four want it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Well, do you drop one on that side? No, I don't think so. Ah, uh, one or two down. Very good. I wouldn't get it off. <sighs> one or two down. <laughs> right off the bat, guys, smash the thumbs up button for Jordan and I. We're out here. Uh, pigeon hunting has been a little scarce this year. We're making it happen. Come on, smash the thumbs up. Let's get this video. Come on, over 3,000 likes. It's been forever. As you can tell, <laughs> we're sweating bullets. I am sweating bullets. Uh, right now it's sitting at, what, 95 degrees? 90 hot. 95 degrees and a ton of humidity. I really don't even want to look at the percentage. It's way up there. Uh, thank goodness we got a little south breeze to our backs uh, at about 10 to 13 mile an hour. Now, this is what's awesome today. Here's the spread. I will walk through it and show it to you here in a little bit once we start killing some more birds but check out the hide here oh yeah right underneath the tree <laughs> it's awesome but we got a band check today always got a band check uh there's my bird right there duck season's coming y'all get out there and do some pigeon hunting there he is no band on him blue check not bad yeah buddy but here's the spread we made it really really wide right to left and we got motion throughout the whole thing, y'all. Looks really good. Running one, two, three mojos, a couple flock of flickers. But again, like I said, we made it really wide. Group coming, group coming, group coming. All right, we're gonna have to sit down and stay set down now. Uh, I wanna tell you guys, so this, this video is sponsored by Ducks Waterfowl. Sorry for the uh, highway behind us, it's a little loud. But this video, like I said, is sponsored by Ducks Waterfowl. If you haven't uh, signed up for the Ducks T-shirt of the Month, what it is, it's right here. This is July's T-shirt of the Month. $14.99, a one-off custom Ducks Waterfowl T-shirt to your door once every month. Every month, the T-shirt design is completely different. And the subscribers, T-shirt of the Month subscribers, that is, you're the only ones that receive these shirts. You can't buy them online or anything else. So I will link the T-shirt of the Month, the Ducks T-shirt of the Month down in the description below. Go sign up. And we got the bearded man himself. Hi. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you ought to. Big, big props for getting permission today. Hey, I, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty easy. I know the guy. <laughs> so another thing, and Jordan and I, I was like, should we do a roulette pigeon hunt? Should we? He was like, let's just do a two-man spray and pray. Jordan, he actually sent his gun off to get Cerakoted and all customized. So. He's rocking the old brand new SBE3 today, baby. What do you think about it? I think you left the plug in. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't have snap ring pliers out here. No, this thing's beautiful though. It it's is a dream. so nice and maneuverable, I love this gun. It's a dreamy gun, it really is. Me, you know me, I'm rocking the old Franke Affinity today with the tube. It's my baby girl. Single, coming your way, farmer. Single normally does pretty well. Maybe except not. Except for that one. Yeah, except for that <laughs> one. <laughs> Dad gummit. These birds. Never outguess them. Yeah, you'll never outguess them. They just do what they want to do. Hmm. Well, we were rearranging the spread. We hadn't seen a bird in about 30 minutes. We were just uh, spreading the, the decoys out a bunch. And what do you know? A 20 pack. Right over our heads. That's how it works. That's how it goes. Every time. Well, here's the spread. 
Uh, we've already been messing with it a lot. We got the bright idea. We need to make it as big as possible. When I scouted this field, the pigeons were just sitting really, 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 really spread out. And uh, in any situation, a lot of you guys always ask how to sit spreads, uh, whether it's duck, geese, pigeon. I don't care what bird it is. Sit your spreads according to what you scout. When you see them, try to mimic how they're sitting in the field the next day. That's the best go-to answer that I have for y'all. And if something ain't working, try something new. That's a big thing. If something ain't working, yeah. try something new. It's not working. What's the point to keep on trying? Right. We've had, what, two, three groups look at it and hate it. So uh, we spread the mojos out literally a ton. If that doesn't help, I'm going to start pulling motion out of the spread that's just my one two three that i always go to you know what i mean first off adjust motion number two start pulling motion out number three get rid of motion they're not loving it the single shoot this single <laughs> i kind of snaked you there just I was gonna say no <laughs> shot call. I'm so sorry. I was literally thinking we were gonna pull it on the exact same time because I waited. <laughs> you were the generous I one. Was just I was like, okay. That was rude, Bobby. I honestly, we've done it so many times where we pull the trigger at the same exact point. I thought it was it. My bad. He did though. Oh, he's dead. He did. Well, we just down that last single. I'm weary to go out and check it because every time we go out there to check a bird or move a decoy, here comes a group of birds. If I go, I'm going to have to put the old Crocs here in high gear, baby. Might as well. Look at you. Old barefoot Billy all the time. It's comfortable. All right, we better go check it. We better go check it. Here we go. This is the time when these birds start coming out to feed, y'all. So you gotta stay set down. Where is he at, you know? Over this, oh, there he is. I got him, I got him. Is he banded? No, he's not. And that's a young bird. That's why he did it so well. Fair enough. You're gonna sit right there, my friend. Let's get back to the blind, baby. I'm kinda enjoying it myself. This Shade is, is welcome. This is one of the comfiest little sits we've had in a long time. Most of the time we're out in the sun just sweating our Oh yeah. Out. It's a lot better today. Four pack, baby. Let's go to work on them. You only got three shells. I only got three. <laughs> I only had two because I forgot to reload last <laughs> Come on, get in here. These two like it. One, two, three. Wow. Go down. You get yours? He's hurt, he's just not dead. I got mine. He, I missed the first shot. He banked right and I went ba bam Well, there we go, another one to two birds down. There we go, another four pack. We're starting, these small groups are starting to roll out here now. Come on. Let's shoot the single. Go. Nice. I finally hit one. There we go. Two That's more birds. Yeah, buddy. Well, if they start rolling like that out here, it's going to get fun. Told you we were early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. There we go. Now it's just picking up. Again, guys, if you're liking the video, me and Jordan getting out here, summertime pigeon hunts, smash the thumbs up button for us. Please help me get this video three, 4,000 likes. I would appreciate it. Hunting season's coming. Uh, it's coming, boys. That's all I got to say. Come on. There we go. Big group coming, y'all. Oh, my goodness. See, they want to fly the whole field and then turn and come back. That's yeah. their plan. They're still coming. Go right there.
dropped two. That's okay. Better than none. We got two of them. We got two. They were not going to do it any better, dude. Oh, boy, howdy. I need a new sticker. Uh, we got new barrel stickers at duckswaterfowl.com. I need to change mine from make it rain to spray and pray because that's what we just did. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's worth trying. I think spreading the mojos out helped, but I think we need to get rid of some motion. Boy, they got in and low. Look at them. Oh, get ready. Three. Yeah, let's shoot these that get down here. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Ah. That was a hard shot. Did you kill anything? I hit one, but he didn't go down. <laughs> that was hard. Struggling out there. Oh man, we suck again. Boy, howdy. We did not shoot good. Plain and simple, boys, plain and simple. No excuses to be made here. We did not shoot good there. Uh, well, the flickers are still there, so they I, are gonna Yeah, see I think we take two, at least one or two mojos down. So with mojos, uh, you draw attention. You try to draw attention to the field that you want them to land in and you're spread, right? Well, they're coming right to it. And I think it's, I think it's a little too much motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the mojos, leave all the flock of flickers up. Like this mojo, we can leave spinning on the ground. But this one, I think we're gonna take down take it down we're just gonna leave one up so taking two mojos out leaving one see if it helps never know at this point like i've always said if it ain't working fix it try something new you may not fix it but it's worth a shot you know I'll take one same one. reaction i'll back you up yeah, you better shoot him before he goes over i don't think i He's still flying. Oh, he rolled. Good night. Huh. That was a lot of money on one bird. Come all the way up to him. Same thing every time. Red one in the middle. Shoot him. Oh, you that can't. Hard. Yeah, the one got dominated. He's walking. Boy, howdy. Here's another group right here on the right coming. Maybe we wait a little longer. They might have. They might have kept coming. I mean, they're working better than they were early. So. Right here, two right here on your side. Smoke the single. Nice. Oh, go down. We haven't shot at them yet, so let's just see what they're gonna do. They're not leaving the field, that's good. But well, we could have shot probably twice. Yeah. Could have shot twice, but we're, we, we're just being greedy, and that's okay. Uh, I think we're getting a lot better reaction uh, without those two mojos. I think we ought to pull that one out too. One. Do you think? Why not? I think it's, I honestly if think. react worse, then we put it back out. Yeah, not exactly. Hard. Here they come back on the left. On the left.
go down i got one down over here man we have just enough wind we got just enough wind coming behind us that when they get out of it they go woo and they gone coming back we worked them hard though oh yeah we worked them over there we go one two three go go down nice shot i hit one you did nice shot oh, yeah. look at the single he might circle back the one the one that got oh, away oh, for his he's buddy. coming back <laughs> he's coming back we have his friends <laughs> we, hey your friend is down here buddy your friend is down here Real quick guys, sorry for the wind. I want to show you how big this spread is. Look, it goes all the way to Jordan. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Right there! Bird! Get him! Nice shot! There we go! <laughs> Alright, I'm sold on it. I am taking out the last mojo. I honestly think it's gonna help y'all. Well, we were able to work those birds. They spun on us three, four, five times and then we shot at them. We didn't shoot good, but taking out two mojos did a lot. I think now you guys really can't see it from here, but it looks really a lot better, a lot more realistic now. I think it'll do good. Here we go. Look at him do it with no mojos. You ready? One, two, three. There we go. Nice. See if these two swing around. Yep. No mojo. No mojo. Oh, look, they're doing it a lot better without mm -hmm. the mojos. A lot better. Look at this. See if we can down all four of them here. With me shooting, not a chance. <laughs> look at this. Take him low, go. I didn't get any of mine up top. Appreciate you letting me shoot that grizz. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty a one. I seen him, I was like, take him, Jordan, I'm going high. <laughs> oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot. Oh, let's let him work a minute here. See if we can get a big group squared up. Yeah. Oh my, there's a lot of birds coming, y'all. It's that time now. Yep, it's that time. Oh, look at Just this. Just enough motion. To look at this out front, they're on the deck. Shoot. He's gonna land. Go. Oh, I missed. Oh, we shouldn't have shot. I missed bad. We shouldn't have shot. Dad gummit. We know now. He'll come back. Oh my goodness, I give up. Got an old grizz. Oh, that's a good looking bird. Look at that. Holy smokes. Jeez, look at the neck on him. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Woo! I think it's got a little hotter out here, old bearded man. You're so, oh my goodness. I, the wind is starting to die down. The sun's coming out. Those two combinations are not good. <laughs> uh, but we removed the mojos. We're getting a much better reaction. Uh, we're sitting at right at 20 birds on the ground. I was like, you know what? I want to do a big, huge catch clean cook for this. And I'm going to use all the duck seasoning and whatnot. We're going to make everything from some bacon wrap pigeon to some fried pigeon, a little bit of everything. And that's going to take up some time. So when, uh, when I get home, it'll be on a separate video, the whole catch clean cook. So I'm going to shut it down here and uh, we're going to pick the hunt back up. But on the next pigeon hunt, there'll be a huge catch clean cook and it's going to be epic and we'll get to try that new duck seasoning 
Like I said earlier though, if you guys have not checked out the Ducks T-shirt of the month, do so. Here is the July T-shirt of the month. Check it out. It's only $14.99 to your mailbox the same day every month, once a month, and it's cheap. It'll keep you fresh. It'll keep you a brand new shirt in your drawer, in your closet, once every month. I'm bad about going out and buying t-shirts, so I enjoy getting one in my mailbox once a month. Link is down in the description below, but subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because when the next pigeon hunt goes live, it's gonna be dirty. We remove the mojos and things are starting to work out. But until next time. Oh no, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real